continuation of our lesson in finals. So, we've already done discussing the blood itself and of course, we've already done discussing some of the system. So, today, let's continue it by introducing another system which is the muscular system. So, before I will going to introduce to you to define and give the function of, ma of muscular system, let's have some uh, pictures. Some, I will be showing you some illustration pertaining to the to, to the system itself. Okay? So, like, for, the, for example, like this. Um, in muscular system, so this illustration is, uh, will show you the parts of the joints and the structure and, and its structure. And also, the function itself. Kasi, um, like, for example, the fibrous. Fibrous focus on the no movement or function as no movement. Or the function of the fibrous is no movement. Synovial, we have full movement cartilaginous, we have some movement. So, that is the illustration pertaining to joints. However, we also have this, another illustration for synovial joints and fibrous joints. Yan. So, since I've already gave you an illustration or picture so that you can describe the physical, the appearance of the, uh, of the different joint, I also gave a short summarization about the description of the different joint. Yeah. In the further slide, I will be discussing it one by one. Next, another um, picture in cartilaginous joints, particularly in cartilaginous joints naman ito. Next, um, if I have the summarization about the joints, I also have some, um, uh, like for example, description that will show the similarities and the differences between synchondrosis uh, syn and symphysis. Okay, from its definition to type of cartilage to its distribution to strength and of course the rigidness and ability to facilitate movement. Okay, let's proceed. Yon, another picture. Ito lang mga picture lang talaga to. And of course, another uh, table that will show the summarization or explain uh, in an easy way about the types of joints. Yan, from its description to its Example. I will not be reading that one because I will be discussing naman yan later part. So this is actually a good one, good GIF that I've found. It easily um, um, show to you what are the connection between the human or the internal organs from its bone to its to its muscles, from its um, of course internal organ and its uh, the largest organ like for example the skin and of course the muscles itself. Okay, let's proceed. So, that was some of the pictures pertaining to our topic for this afternoon. So, now let's go and let's discuss what is our main topic, which is muscular system. But before that, let's define first what is muscular system. The muscular system is composed of such special cells called muscle fibers. So, from the root word of muscular, it is muscle. Their predominant function is contract. Stability. Muscles attached to the bones or internal organs and blood vessels are responsible for movement. Nearly all movement in the body is the result of muscle construction. Exception to this are the action of cilia, the flagellum on sperm cell, and amoeboid, a movement of some white blood cells. Um, on pertaining on muscular system, this system is very important. Why? Because it is used or this system is uh, function as our movement. It's uh, this system also is connected to skeletal system or to our skeleton. Why? Because we cannot move, we cannot uh, raise our hand, we cannot uh, run, we cannot walk, we cannot um, hand something if there is no so-called muscular system. So uh, that's why uh, it is connected to our skeleton. So let's proceed now to another slide another uh, video or another presentation on how on the appearance of the muscles inside your body so from 650 skeletal muscles to be exact exact number of muscles in our body okay let's proceed again so that 650 skeletal muscles is not only within your shoulder and upper limb uh, muscles also can be found in your head and neck back and thorax, abdomen, hip, and lower extremity. So, this will show uh, to you the appearance of the muscles. Okay? So, 
So, let's proceed to another. Let's continue. So, there are more than 600 muscles in the human body. Most of these muscles are attached to the bones of the skeletons by tendons, although a few muscles are attached to the undersol face of our skin. Kaya nga sinasabi ko kanina that this, our uh, muscular system is connected to skeletal system because um, it is attached, muscle itself are attached to the bones of the skeleton by the means of tendons. By that, we can freely move, we can freely run. So as you can see here in uh, my GIF again, another good um, GIF that can show how muscle move or how muscle contracts to the bones. Okay, so let's proceed. The primary function of the muscular system is to move the skeleton. Kaya nga sinabi ko, movement. The muscle contraction required for movement also produce heat which contributes to the, to then maintenance, uh, main, main, oh, maintenance of a constant body temperature. The other body system directly involved in movement or the nervous, respiratory, and circulatory system. So, that's why... Uh, muscles connect to that the skeletal or muscle can directly involve to another other uh, other system not only to skeletal because of movement kasi muscles is the one or muscles is the function of the muscles is for movement eh. and all of the mud of and all of the body internal to 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 external part is moving so muscles is always there in each um, system Okay, let's proceed. The nervous system transmits the electrochemical impulses that cause muscle cells to contract. So this is actually the, 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 the process on how nervous system is connected to our muscles. Okay. The respiratory system exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide between the air and blood. The circulatory system brings oxygen to the muscle and takes carbon dioxide again. If we have in... The, the nervous system um, for, for ner nervous system it is uh, the function of it is for the muscle to contract while in the respiratory system uh, the respiratory system it is focused on the exchanges between the oxygen and the carbon dioxide between the air and the blood and it brings oxygen to the muscles and takes carbon dioxide away so that is the help of respiratory system and circulatory uh, respiratory helps uh, to exchange the oxygen between uh, the oxygen to into the carbon dioxide between the air and the blood that leads to cir circulatory system that can brings oxygen to the muscle and takes carbon dioxide away so that is the connection between the muscle to the both system okay let's proceed oh, again as you can see here all oh, from the eyes we can move we can move our eyes because of the muscles itself we can move our feet because of the muscles itself that's why i've said the approximately number of muscles inside our body is 650 okay 650 muscles meaning to say all inside our body there are, there are a lot of muscles nakapalibot lahat ng muscles okay kasi muscles is for movement that's why we can run fast that's why we can walk that's when we can move something into into another place because of the muscle. Okay? Muscles are anchored firmly to bones by tendons. So, what is this tendons? Tendons is a cord of strong or flexible tissue similar to rope. Tendons connect your muscles to your bones. So, that's why uh, muscles are anchored. It said anchored firmly to bones because it is connect to your muscles and to your bones. Tendons is the one to let us move our limbs. And also, you can find tendons from your head at the way down to your toes. Yon. So that is the function of tendons. A tendon is a fibrous connective tissue which attaches muscles to bone. That's why I've said that tendons is also a tissue. Okay. Yan. Okay, let's proceed. So here are some of the parts like for example cartilage what is cartilage ligaments and tendons so as i've said tendons is focused on the connection of the muscle to the bone and it is a tissue ha tissue uh that uh, it is a cord of strong flexible tissue similar to rope and it is connected your uh, uh tendons connect your muscles to our bones that's why uh, uh we can move our limbs because of tendons Ligaments connect bones to bones. 
cartilage, it is a cushion between joints, not as rigid as bone, not as uh, as flexible as muscle. So as you can see, the location of the cartilage, ligaments, and the tendon. So please take note with that. Next, most tendons are rope-like, but some are flat. A flat tendon is called aponeurosis. Okay, oh, I remember that one. When we say, sabi nga nila, sabi nga with the statement, tendons are rope-like. But there are some of description that is tendon, but uh, it is different. Like for example, as, as we all know, that rope-like is not flat. No, hindi siya flat. But if that, that tendon is a flat, it is called aponeurosis. And tendons are made of fibers connected tissue, a very strong and merges with the fascia that covers the muscles and with the periosteum. So the fibers connected tissue membrane that covers bone. So you know, as I've just said, in muscles, we muscles also muscles have its own tissues or muscles connected to tissue also, not only with the skeleton, but also to tissue. Because tendons are made of fibrous connecting tissue. And as we all know, tendons is, is the one who connect the mu muscles, our muscles, to our bones. So, yan. Let's proceed. So, a muscle usually has at least two tendons, each attached to different bone. The more immob immobile, immobile or stationary attachment of the muscles, it is origin. The more movable attachment is called the insertion. So the two different types of tendons in the muscle is origin and insertion. Please take note with that. The muscle it itself crosses the joint of the two bones to which it is attached. And when the muscle contracts, it pulls on its insertion and moves the bone in specific direction. So it explains why why the two uh, why there is a two um, what we call this uh, uh, part or types of a tendon. So, na explain dito the uh, the below uh, below statement itself that from the process of the joint to two bones which attach and uh, which attach, then eventually the muscles will contract and pulls and its insertion and moves the bone into specific direction. So that is the function itself of the two tendons or the two types of tendons which is origin and insertion. Okay, let's move. Let's go now with the attach attachments. Yan, yan you know. This is the origin from the above picture. Uh, sorry. Above picture origin. And this is the insertion. Okay. So le now let's proceed to the types of muscle tissue. Cardiac, skeletal, or smooth. Okay. Let's uh, proceed first with the cardiac muscle. Or also called as heart muscles or myocardium. It is in both... Involuntary straighted muscles that constitute constitutes the main tissue of the walls of the heart. So that is cardiac muscles. As you can see in the picture below, I already gave you a sample uh, by the appearance of the cardiac muscle. Muscle. We I also have two pictures, different pictures here from muscles, the cardiac muscles diagram and cardiac muscles my, microscopy. Yeah. Aside from that also, cardiac muscles will, can perform or coordinated construction that allow your heart to pump blood through your circulatory system. So, that is the function or main function of cardiac muscle tissue. Next, uh, yes, this is uh, another picture showing the appearance of cardiac muscle. Next, we have skeletal muscle. If we have cardiac muscles, of course, we also have skeletal. It is form of serrated muscles tissue, um, which is under voluntary control of somatic nervous system. A skeletal muscle refers to multiple bundles, which is called fascicles, or of cells joined together called muscle fiber. The fibers and the muscles are surrounded by connective tissue layers called fascia. Okay. So in the muscles, uh, in the skeletal muscles, we've mentioned somatic uh, nervous system. Somatic nervous system is a component of the peripheral uh, nervous system. It is associated with the voluntary control of our body and movement via the use of skeletal muscles. That is why um, it is the uh, uh, in skeletal muscle, a somatic nervous system is involved. While we also mention here this fascicles. Okay, so fascicles, it is actually a bundle of muscle fibers and 
the function of it is, and the function of fascicles is, is to provide pathways for the passage of blood vessels and the nerves. So that is fascicles. So, we've already unlocked some difficulties here. We've already uh, give some um, the definition of each terminology. So, that is the use of skeletal muscle. Sorry. So, let's proceed. So, another actually representation or appearance. It is a picture that gives us a, the appearance of the skeletal muscle. So, there, uh, there are attachment there, no? From the parts of the fascicle to muscle fiber to motor neuron to the blood vessels so again so that is the picture the appearance of the skeletal muscle okay let's proceed so if we are uh, we've already done discussing the the cardiac and skeletal so now let's proceed to smooth muscle smooth muscles is a type of tissue found in the walls of hollow organs such as the intestines uterus and stomach you can also find smooth muscles in the walls of passageways, including arteries and veins of the cardiovascular system. This type of involuntary non straighted muscles is also found in the tracts of the urinary, respiratory, urinary, respiratory, and reproductive system. Why it is called as involuntary muscle? Because it is a muscle that show no cross stripes under micro microscopic mag. Nification. Smooth muscle tissue, unlike straighted muscles, as I've said, it contracts slowly and automatically. It constitutes mass, much of muscul uh, musculature of internal organs and the into the our digestive system. That is why smooth muscle can be found in what in the in the arteries, veins, and also intestine, uterus, and stomach okay so digestive system here is involved also ha, in smooth muscle okay let's proceed another uh, pictures that can uh, represent the some of the parts of the smooth muscle from the eye to respiratory tract to blood vessels to al alimentary canal uterus and urinary bladder so this part uh, this part of the tissue uh, of the muscle it has a smooth muscle tissue you Smooth, matters, smooth muscle tissue is located in this part of muscles, okay, part of the body, okay? Let's proceed. So, this is another uh, summarization from smooth muscle to cardiac and to skeletal muscle. Next. Okay, so now, uh, some of you can, you can have... Okay, these are the links that, uh, that can show to you the some of the video about muscle or muscular system. Okay, so now let's proceed to muscle arrangement. Okay, muscles arrangement. So, any question, clarification? So, our, our discussion will continue to muscles arrangement. So, if you have question clarification, you can leave it to, to our GC or you can ask me by PM. So thank you very much and have a nice day.